morning. Amen. I preached to myself yesterday morning. Uh, how many of y'all know what F on the shelf is? You know, when you get these little L's, put them on the shelf for the kids, and you move them around in the house. The Lord gave me a message on that. I was preaching to myself yesterday or Friday. I don't remember what day it was, but he said uh, the Lord was trying to give me a talk to me and telling me about the elf on the shelf. He said, you're using your Jesus as an elf on the shelf. Amen. We as a society and as the people, we set God up on a shelf in our house or in our lives and we set him on a shelf and uh, we don't never move him or never use him until we need it. And God wants to be involved in all of our life and our all day process. He wants you to continually be moving that else in your life. He right. don't want it to just be stationary up here, even though He'll be there and help you when you need Him. That's right. But I've come to the conclusion that what the Lord was trying to tell me, if I use it, God at, at, at all time, then I won't get to the point where I got to have it all at one time. He'll be supplying all my needs as I go throughout the day. And, and that elf on the shelf is the same thing. And I've been married before and the Lord has showed me some examples in a marriage of how we all want the candy and the good stuff, but then we put it back on the shelf over here and we don't want to use... Uh, use our wives or our husbands. We want to keep them on the shelf over here. We want to satisfy our own personal needs whenever we need it. But as far as the physical and the emotional and the mental and the stressful and the things of life, we don't want to help each other and, and communicate with each other on that. And the Lord was showing we in our marriages today, we're using that as an F on the shelf. We just want it when we want our our candy and our stuff we want to and uh, things of, that, that we desire we want to use that when we need it but in the things of life the things that we need to do to control our situations and emotions and and stressful things that comes along we need each other daily it's the same way with god we need god all through our lives during the day and it's the same way in a marriage you need that uh to keep that candy not just sitting on a shelf, but to use it all during the day and all during the night to have and to hold and to... I don't know why the Lord was telling me that what is preparing me for something in the future or, or, or letting me know, but I've learned a lot through my mistakes. So don't put God on the shelf. That's right. Don't put God on the shelf. You, and, and he'll be there when you need him because he'll never leave you and never forsake you. You know, that's given to us in Scripture. But God is, wants to be there for you to use in, in times of difficulty at all times, not just when you uh, run into a crisis. That's right. You know, we use, we want to wait till everything gets in a crisis, you know, before we do anything. We, we don't plan ahead. And the Lord wants us to be prepared. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am, you may be also. We need to be a prepared people. I'm prepared for whatever comes my way. I'm not saying I won't fall apart when something comes my way, but I'm I'm preparing for it now. But when it does come, I, I, I can endure a little bit. And I believe we as, as a people nowadays, we don't have that anymore. We're not prepared. And then things come along, we just fall apart. Right. It's just a panic. Oh, it's just a look at this COVID and all this stuff come through. It was just a panic situation. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about my own self. It was a panic situation for me when it first started. But now, as I've done, got it and had it myself, I see what the situation was. It it really was a crisis situation, but it wasn't a panicking situation because God is still in control. That's right. And you got to learn to lean on Him. Hallelujah. 